Welcome back to another Doggers Van Model Railway review. Today we'll be looking at the Oz Trains dog box carriages. This 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 one is Pack D4 or two LFX cars with mar Marshall roof in in Tuscan and Ruskin. These carriages were second class. They were building started as early as 1897 till 1909. These carriages continued to be in use right until the end of steam. My mum does have memories of riding in dog box coaches in the 1970s um, from you know, on mail trains from Sydney all the way to to Walgett or Brown Junction one two. Wasn't quite sure which where she got off. But wait, let's start looking at it. So since these two are exactly the exact same coach technically, just minor just minor details. For instance, the rain number is different. We'll only look at probably look at one to save time. So anyway, the box, top of the box comes off. Then the plastic sleeve. These coaches came second hand. I think I paid a hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars for them. I'm quite happy, happy with that price. Please note, I'm not an expert in any way, shape, or form about about carriages, locomotives, or rolling stock. So if I'm wrong, please let me know so I can correct myself and correct my knowledge. So anyway, what do we have here? The dog boxes were non-corridor stock, so once you go into the compartment, you can only go to the toilet or to the next compartment there. But you have to go through the toilet. It's very English in, in appearance, which being built so early, that probably explains why. You've got little door hat latches on the side, a detailed interior. Bit dark, but it's there. It's non-painted. So you can probably go in and paint it if you want. You have a coupler. The standard beautiful Oz trains under train de under carriage detailing. Including all the truss rods. Brake cables, etc. Uh, leaf, leaf spring, bring bogies. Not sure what sort of bogies these are. Separately applied. Think they're metal, maybe, maybe metal handrail, maybe plastic. Not sure what that's for there. Somebody should be bound to know. Maybe some sort of. Wouldn't be a uh, coupling mechanism of some description. Maybe a shunting pole, maybe, of some description. You have a KD compatible coupler and air hose. These bogies, if you take them off to change the coupler, you have to put them all back on the exact same way. Not because it causes a short circuit, otherwise, bogie just doesn't go on because they're in independently designed. This end here is lower, that end there is high. So make sure you put them back on the exact same way. Battery boxes, which feel loose. And uh, brakes, uh, brake applying, the yeah, brake thing. On this end, you've got steps or up to the roof. These feel, these feel like metal. You've also got wood grain all along. I hope you liked this little video. Again, I'm not an expert on dog box coaches. I just find them interesting. Perfect for or branch line use, which is something I try model. Well, thanks for doing this little video, and I'll see you next time.